I want to tell you guys, anybody that's running the 212 Predator, this is a must buy, okay? I think it was nine bucks for the emulsion tube and, I don't know, three bucks for the jet. And uh, you put that in your, your 212 Predator, it's the biggest deal you can do to make it just run nice. I mean, this is the fix. If you're going to run just a header and an intake, you know, a car or a filter like I'm doing, then this setup works beautiful. Plenty of power, everything's smooth. It, it just runs a lot better. So get that if you have the, the Predator. Anyway, hi right, you guys. I want to show you where that jet and emulsion tube go. So first thing you got to do is drain your carburetor, which is really easy. There's a drain plug on the side of the bowl. And then pull the bowl, pull out the old one, the old two pieces. They're right up inside here. First the emulsion tube, and then the jet screws up in there to hold it. And so we're going to take these new ones, 9 millimeter jet and 140 emulsion tube. They go just like that. This slides up inside like that. And like that. Then you want to take a screwdriver and you want to screw them in until tight, but you don't want to strip this stuff out. It's all pretty, uh, you know, soft. It's, it's all brass. Let me get back on the threads if I can while I'm trying to hold the camera here. There we go. And just give it a little. I'm going to try one size screwdriver, just a little bigger. But you have to fit up inside the threads without, scr without scratching them, or without stripping them, so... You know, you want to be really careful when you're doing this. There. And we're tight. Then you got to put the, the uh, bowl back on, and that bolt that goes up from the bowl, it goes right into that same spot. Okay, it's all back together, simple and clean. And I'm telling you, when I say that that jet, replacing this jet, and this uh, emulsion tube makes the biggest difference on these 212 engines from a Harbor Freight. It gets rid of a lot of that surging and other stuff that you have with these. Anyway, I'm going to show you one more thing here in a second that I do. Hang on, i got to turn the engine over. Here's another fix that I do on these that works really well. I don't know if you can see it in the dark here, but there's a little zip tie. And I'm, what you do is... You, you take two zip ties and you cut the locking end off of one. Then you slide the zip tie through this spring for the uh, governor, and you want to leave it a little loose, you know, a little a little slack in it so it can move. I don't know if you can see, but it moves back and forth in there a little bit, and that helps with the surging too. And what you do is you just zip it down until, you know, I got about a, what, half, a little more than a quarter inch there, half inch there. And it works perfect for when this thing is accelerating so that when it starts to surge, you can really pull on it and it actually makes that spring solid. Really good setup, really works nice. So there's a couple of the little fixes you can do. One is that emulsion tube and that jet, 9 millimeter jet, 140 emulsion tube. And then this is a free fix zip tie. Works really well on the governor. Good luck.